Okay, next I'm going to do two things. What is it called? <laughs> so now we have these two plants planted and papyrus is doing really well although it's a little windy so it's kind of getting knocked over in this one too but you see back here in these planters what i want to do is get some nice green um kind of like the middle one there um i have this one kind of plant all over my yard it grows wild and it's called deities or fortnite lily so i'll go show you them so these are the Fortnite lilies over here. They grow all over the place. At first I thought that I wasn't going to try to transplant them because um, they seem to need some shade. Hi cat. Am I talking? Oh my goodness, hello. Um, oh, we have a mouse too. Well, you don't need to see that. Okay, well she's bringing it back to her babies. All right. Um, so often they have little white flowers on them as well. So this one is in the sunshine, but it was planted all around here, but it's only where the fountain usually has shade in the, the hottest part of the day that it's actually survived. And then also back in here, it's growing wild. And over here, Underneath the rose bushes that was growing wild. I never planted any of this. It all came in by itself at one point in time There's the hammock at one point in time. I had this all cleared out and everything and I only got as far as the rose bush and you can see by the paint on the back wall at a certain time, I kind of stopped that anyway, so what I was thinking is I'm going to dig up some of these and separate the rhizomes and um, put them in the, black, the back planters. So I figure since I'm going to be over here, I'd rather not have the roses in my face. So I'm going to keep the ones that still have buds and the ones that are, I mean uh, flowers and the ones that have buds. But let's see if there's another pretty one that's going to come in. But look at all this mess in here that's already flowered and it needs to be cut back. and that area back there and then I can get to all this really nice looking Fortnite lily underneath them. Okay, I've cleared out a lot of the roses here so that we can get down to the Fortnite lily. Um, underneath the roses I found only one example of what's going to be a flower. So this comes out here and it becomes a flower. It's actually very pretty. It's tiny, but it's pretty. And then after it's a flower, then it goes into seed pods. And here's a seed pod that then it turns brown and pops open and the seeds come out. Um, they, they really do spread like wildfire. Wild fire. So anyway, I'm gonna dig some of these up and transplant them. I have been digging here for a while. This dirt is really dry and really hard, but um, one of the things, <laughs> also I just wanted to kind of stop for a little bit. Another thing that this does, I don't know if you can see it, it puts out runners like that, and here's a new one, and you can see that it's starting to, um, if it stays there, it will start to grow there. So this definitely grows sideways. Well, I've been working on these for a while and the ground is very dry and very uh, compact. And it's very hard to get anything through there. Um, so I'm going to water it down and take out all these cuttings and put them in the trash and try again. So after digging around each one of these plants, Fortnite lilies, um, now I've filled it with water. So hopefully in the morning um, I can come out and the soil will be more flexible and I can dig them out. Um, also a problem, I thought that these leaves were sticking me and itching, but it turns out to be a bunch of little teeny tiny mosquitoes. So I'm going in now. <laughs> 